Welcome to another Assessment Academy training video, Peer Analysis and Benchmarking. In this video, I will be talking about the process of selecting peers and aspirants for the use in assessment analyses. First, we're going to start with defining peers and aspirants. Peers, institutions with similar institutional characteristics, such as mission, size, and enrollment. Aspirants, institutions that are typically better with the goal of reaching level of performance of those schools. Competitors, based on where students can actually apply and attend. Predetermined, this association is already in place such as athletic conference, geographic location, or state system. Although it depends on the purpose of the peer set and the reference institution, there are typically five steps to ensure a reasonable set of peers. They are selecting an initial set of institutions to start your analysis, then identify subsets of institutions from your initial selection with standardized data. This third step is to determine if the subsets you created are suitable for the analysis you are conducting. Next, if needed, collect additional information from your institution to make a more suitable set of peers. Then finally, you can conduct your analysis. So let's get into more detail. Step 1. Determine the initial peer set. There are all sorts of locations you can go to find the initial peer set. These sites take information your institution has provided and gives you a list based on criteria you provide, like enrollment size. These resources are IPEDS, Easy Group, Carnegie Classifications, US News and World Report, predetermined sets of peers, which can be based on geographic location, or other survey projects such as the National Survey of Student Engagement and Noel Levitt's Student Satisfaction Inventory. Let's go through the IPEDS Easy Groups and show you how to create an initial set using Siena College as the main school. First navigate to nces.ed.gov slash IPEDS slash data center. Then select compare individual institutions, click continue on the next page, then select the data by group easy group. Check elements under the data collection. For Siena College we will select geographic region, mid-east, sector, private, not-for-profit, four-year or above, degree granting status, degree granting, highest degree offered, masters, institutional category, degree granting, primarily baccalaureate or above, Carnegie classification, 2010 Basic Baccalaureate College, Arts and Sciences, and Institutional Size Category, 1000 to 4999. Then hit Search. A list of institutions will be listed. You can then go to Step 2 at the top of the list, select Variables, to make subsets, but we will not here. Now we will go on to our own Step 2, identifying subsets of institutions from the initial selection. In the easy list, this was the initial sets of variables I selected, such as geographic region, highest degree offered, and Carnegie classification. Choose these data elements so they are specific to the base school for which you want peers. You can find these in previously conducted peer analyses. You use these standardized data elements to create a workable peer list of 5 to 40 institutions. Again, some of these standard data elements would be enrollment size, instructional expenses, and a number of applicants, or probably a data element not used. This will create your subset of peers. You may need to standardize data to take into consideration differences in enrollment size that could affect instructional expenses, endowment, number of applicants, and alumni giving rate. The next possible step is to determine if the peer subset groups are suitable for your institution. For example, you can examine the sets of peers using your institutional characteristics and eliminate institutions that are not in your Carnegie classification, institutions that are not as selective as your own, or you can use a combination of attributes such as alumni giving rate and endowment or all that are appropriate. In the next step, if needed, Collect additional information from various stakeholders. Talk to your stakeholders that have insight to what type of attributes they would want to compare in the subgroups you've created. You can also use key performance indicators, or KPIs, that use the data elements that are important to your school. 
You can also go back to the previously created peer analyses or national survey projects like the NESI and the NLSSI and use data elements contained therein. The final step is to conduct your statistical analysis. Here you want to understand each of the procedures and which one will best suit you. You can even combine some of these methods until you are satisfied with your peer list. Possible statistical procedures are cluster analysis, data envelope analysis, discriminant analysis, factor analysis, nearest neighbor, subject matter experts, SME, or variable match. Nearest neighbor and cluster analyses seem to be the most popular. Asking people on campus or other subject matter experts is always helpful. And variable match where categories such as enrollment size are matched to other institutions variables. For the aspirin analysis, the steps are along the same lines as your peer analysis, but you want to use data elements that are stretch goals or strategic goals for your institution. These can be better overall college ranking, faculty to student ratios, a higher percentage of alumni giving, and higher retention rate. Follow the steps 2 through 5 and get your aspirant groups using these new variables. There are several web applications that can help to select a set of peers. A partial list has been compiled by the Office of Institutional Effectiveness and can be found at www.siena.edu slash pages slash 697.asp. There's also a link to Peer Tools, which is page 7787.asp. Some of these links will be listed at the end and linked in the description. Now I will demonstrate some of those applications listed on page 697. The College Board hosts a Compare Colleges website. Once you navigate to www.collegeboard.org, select College Search at the top. Once on the Big Future site, select Find Colleges drop-down and select Compare Colleges. Here you can compare up to three colleges by typing in the college name in the Add College section and selecting the college from the drop-down. The NCES College Navigator can be found at nces.ed.gov. Once there, under the School Search tab, select College Navigator. Here you can type in the name of the school you want to find, select a state or number of states you would like to search, or use your zip code for colleges close to your home. You can also use the checkboxes underneath to select college variables such as bachelors, four-year private, tuition fees, and even athletic teams. Using these variables, a list is provided and you can view more information about them when you click on the name. Select Add to Favorites for your schools you would like to compare. Then when you have selected all the schools you want for your analysis, go to My Favorites tab at the top of the page hover over it, select the schools you would like to compare, and select compare. The results will be shown in the page generated. The National Association of Colleges and Universities Business Officers, or NACUBO, can be found at nakubo.org. Under the Research tab, then under Benchmarking Resources, they explain more strategies and tools for defining peer groups sites to use, and the data they have compiled into resource page under data resource details and a resource matrix. The matrix lists the types of resources provided, variables such as endowment and financial data, and restrictions on data such as annual fees. We have already been to the iPads Data Center website to create one peer group. Another way to create a peer group is to create a data feedback report. First, go to the nces.ed.gov slash iPads slash data center, then select Look Up an Institution, and on the next page, type in your school. Select the school from the drop down list generated, and then click Data Feedback Reports. Select the year you wish to view, and the pre generated report will be shown. The data is compiled by NCES for all institutions that submit data to iPads. You can then use this report to create a peer list based on specific IPEDS variables such as geographic location, enrollment size, and Carnegie classification. There are also instructions in the report on how to use the tool to create a different set of peers.
There are some limitations to peer and aspirant studies. First, the data elements for comparison might not be available or missing possibly because the institution does not participate in the NESI or U.S. News and World Report college rankings. Also, your peer selection should depend on the purpose of the comparison. Aspirant institutions should depend on at least one key performance indicator, for example, graduation rates or retention rates. This concludes our training video. For other Assessment Academy videos, check our website at www.siena.edu slash pages slash 7880.asp as well as our YouTube page.